Stand back, please. We're going to have a wait for first stand over here. Hey, Mike, what's your name? David Mark from the Ambos. Mike, what's happening? Looks like he's got a boy there, mate. Let's get a collar on him. Let's get him over. It's all right, mate. Just, just hold still. We'll look after you. Just relax. Are you all right? Let's see. Lie still. Any witnesses? Yeah, yeah, I saw the whole thing. He's a collar. He's a collar. He's a collar. You come down here and get all of the links for us, mate. I'll tell you what, he was in a hell of a hurry. Just jumped straight in the traffic. I see. I've got a boy of my own. It's not your fault, bud. He wasn't even where he's going. We've got a cash card. His name's Todd Landers. Well, that's a start. Sorry. Right with that, I think. Okay, we're going up. Around. Just hold on there, mate. You're right. Nice to see you. Let's go. Let's go. One thing for sure, if Todd and Phoebe decide to have the baby, they're going to get all the support they need from us right here. Good. And Andrew's going to be wrapped. Oh, next best thing to him having a little baby sister or brother to play with. Any thoughts of you two having any more kids? <sighs> I don't know, Dad. Things haven't progressed that far yet. I'm doing my best, but part of her is still convinced that I'm a traitor. Be patient. Her scars have still got to be pretty tender. And you're inclined to want things to happen yesterday. Mm, no, but I'm learning, I'm learning. No, I think the hardest part for her is just being convinced that I'm still crazy about her after what happened with Caroline. Hang in there, mate. Consistency, that's what she needs right now. It may take everything you've got for a while. Yeah. I mean, I can handle that. Christina deserves that and a lot more. I just wished I had a guilt edge guarantee on the outcome. Jim Robinson. Yeah, he's my nephew. What's up, Dad? Where is he? Um, all right, listen, we're on our way, thanks. Dad, what's wrong? Oh, my keys. Uh, we've got to get to Erinsborough Hospital. Todd's been hit by a car. It's, it's serious, apparently. Oh, is Phoebe with him? Uh, no, she'll still be in the clinic. Put the number here. Where the hell are my keys? Yeah, Dad, come on, leave it. We'll go in my car and we'll use the mobile on the way. Yeah, lights. It's still engaged. Yeah, well, don't dial so quickly, Dad. It jams up the system. Come on, come on, change, please. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm after a Mrs. Dorothy Burke. She's with uh, Phoebe Bright. Yes. Would you like to speak to her? Uh, would you mind hurrying, please? It's very urgent. A uh, telephone call for you, Mrs. Burke. It's urgent, apparently. Who'd be calling me here? It's for young Todd. Hello, Todd. Dorothy. It's Jim Robertson. Is Phoebe there? Jim, what's the matter? Uh, well, Paul and I are on our way to Erinsborough Hospital. Oh, get out of the way. Todd has been uh, run over. Oh, dear God. He was on his way to the clinic to see Phoebe, to see if he could talk her into changing her mind and keeping the baby. Oh, he's still alive, but he's badly hurt. I, I think Phoebe should be told. Hold on, Jim. Uh, nurse. I need to speak to Phoebe. Something's happened. Oh, she's in theatre, Mrs. Burke. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on here, Jim, but I'll get her to the hospital as quickly as I can. All right. Um, we'll drive carefully. This concerns the father of the child. He's had an accident. You must take me through to her. It's an emergency. Please. I'll see what I can do. Jim. Jim, what's wrong? Todd's been hit by a car. What? Is it Brad? Yeah. Yeah, all, all right, Jim. We'll make sure that Helen finds out. All right. Thanks. Bye. Love, I'm sorry. We're going to be needed here. It is bad. Yeah. Heard any more? 
Annette's still not answering. I spoke to Matt. She said she'll tell Helen as soon as she and Beth get home. It's going to hit her hard, though. Yeah, very. Still, I suppose we can depend on Matt to break the news gently. Dorothy? Oh, where is he? Can I see him? Uh, he's in the theatre right now. You've spoken to the doctor? Sit down and I'll go over the whole thing with you. I'm OK. What are they doing to him, Mr Robinson? Um, they brought Todd in with very serious injuries. The doctor in charge wasn't sure, but he suspects it might be a ruptured spleen, which can be very dangerous, apparently. They took him into theatre straight away. He'll be OK. I don't know. Do you see they're racing against time, Fee? I don't get it. Why is it so hard? Well, removing the spleen isn't that difficult of itself, apparently. Yeah, it's, it's the loss of blood associated with the rupture that makes it dangerous, eh? And in Todd's weakened state. They're doing their best, Phoebe. He's got to pull through. If they can stop the internal bleeding, there's a chance. Todd's a fighter, Phoebe. That'll make a big difference to his chances. They have to save him. I should have given him a lift. He was so revved up about speaking to you, I suppose he was thinking more about that than he was about the traffic. You wanted to speak to me. What about? Oh, no. Well, what was it? Something's going on. Tell me. It was about me, Todd. I think you should tell me, Mr. Robinson. Todd was talking things over with me. He was having second thoughts about the termination. He was on his way to discuss the possibility of you having the baby when he was run over. I thought you knew that. Yeah. He'd been pretty troubled about it. See, I spoke to Todd some time ago. And well, he wasn't at all convinced. Why didn't he say something? Scared of losing you if you pushed, I guess. Todd's father kept telling him that it was a mistake to marry and have kids young. He bought it at first, but... I pointed out that his life didn't have to turn out the same way his father's did. I wish I'd keep my mouth shut now. Excuse me. I just put my foot in it. I told Phoebe that Todd wanted to keep the baby. Oh, Jim. I assumed that you'd have mentioned that he was on his way to talk to her. No. With Todd fighting for his life, Phoebe has more than enough to cope with. It's been ages since they took him to recovery. Why aren't they telling us anything? Doctor? How is he? Is he alive? Todd's going to be fine. He's a very lucky young man. Oh, he made it. He did. Thanks, Doc. He did good. Well, to tell you the truth, it got pretty hairy in there at one stage, but Todd's a strong, healthy fellow with lots of courage. Thank you very much for all your trouble, Doctor. Todd means a hell of a lot to us. He'll need to rest up for a while, but he should be fighting fit within a few weeks. You can go in and see him in a moment when he's settled, but uh, not too many at once, please. Oh, it's unreal. Thank you, I mean. I'll uh, talk to you about his progress tomorrow. Not too long now. He's been through the mill, remember? Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> you two go in first. Oh, what about you? Come on, we don't want to overwhelm the guy. Go on, go on. That's right, go on. I still can't believe it. Guys. The doctor says you're going to be as good as new in no time, as long as you get lots of rest. Yeah. I think I collected my car, right? Was anyone else hurt? The driver's fine. Don't worry. It's, it's hard to remember. It's my fault, I think. Don't try. We'll piece it all together later. The main thing is you're okay. I am. Take me on a lousy car to get rid of me. Don't, Todd. Hey, it's cool, right? So where's Oscar? It's not a joke. I'm sorry. You gave us quite a fright, mate. I was terrified I was going to lose you. Okay. 
going anywhere. I promise I love you too much. I know. Me too. You'd better get some rest, Todd. Doctor's orders. Can you stay a while? I'm not budging. You're very cute when you're determined. <sighs> Shush. Go to sleep. about me. Let's talk about you. Oh, come off it. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Oh, my tummy's growling. Peckish, Jim? Oh, yeah, that sandwich dispenser we passed on the way didn't look too lethal. It has to be better than this drip. Don't get too attached to it. <laughs> See you later. Todd, I feel so ashamed. And why? For not showing more interest in your feelings. Being so selfish. You haven't. M Mr. Robinson told me why you were on the way to the clinic. I didn't realise how much you wanted to have the baby. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to. Phoebe, I'm not about to lay that trip on you after what you've been through. I'm still pregnant, Todd. I got the news about you just before I was about to get the anaesthetic. I called it off and I came straight here. You've still got the baby. Yep. And I'm going to keep it. That's it. I've had a lot of time today to, to imagine life without you. It wasn't nice. The baby's part of you and I want it. So it's me. What about the money? Your career plans, all the stuff that you're worried about. It will get handled somehow. After what's happened today, I know we can make a go of this. Baby. Yeah. What? You're beautiful. Oh, I am. Oh. Doing here? I thought you and Lou would be away on your weekend. No, we gave it to Gabby and Simon. <laughs> oh, what on earth did you do that? Don't tell me it turned out to be another nudist resort. Mm, Gabby and Simon must be stoked. Mm. Madge, what is it? What's wrong? Um, I don't want you to get upset. He's going to be all right. Jim, what's happened? No, 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 it's not Jim. No, sit down. It's Todd. Todd? He was hit by a car, but he's had an operation and he seems to be doing fine. Oh. oh, I can't quite take this in. Mm. Would you like a drink? Yes, yes, please. Madge, I should go straight to the hospital. No, no, no. Dorothy and Jim and Phoebe are there. And he's probably still unconscious from the operation, so he'd be much better to wait until tomorrow. Yes. How serious is it? Fairly, I think. But the main thing is that he's come through. Thank you. Is Phoebe all right? Yeah, Dorothy's there with her. But now that the operation's over, I imagine they'll be back here fairly shortly. Madge, thank you for giving up your holiday. Oh, don't be silly. You would have done the same thing for me. <laughs> Lou's at home getting some food together, so when everybody gets back, I think we should all go up to my place to have some dinner. Well, thank you, but I doubt that anyone will be feeling hungry. Not after this. Oh, thank God Todd's all right. How exactly did it happen? Well, I'm afraid I don't have the details. Jim? Jim, how is... Jim? Jim? Something's been wrong. We left him so that he and Phoebe could have a moment alone and... Suddenly... Phoebe. 
It's Todd. He was struck by a car. He died a little while ago. Todd? Dead? I'd like to be alone for a while. Well, there must have been some damage to the main artery of the heart that went undetected. Anyway, it, it was, um, it ruptured things, and he had a massive heart attack. Oh, kid. I should go and see how he is. Oh, I'll leave until tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We must ring a nurse. I know. How the hell do I tell her? I didn't even get a chance to talk to him. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Tell me, I'd driven him. It would never have happened. Jim, you can't blame yourself. How do you make any sense of it all? A lovely young man like Todd. <laughs> oh, oh, Jim. <laughs> Can't say the same about me, eh? How do you know, Phoebe? Hi, Mr. Landis. Girl, I wish it was something that I could say to help you get through this. No, it's okay. Perhaps we should go inside. Come on. We really must go. I don't think I can handle this. I'll be there with you. I don't want to let him go in. Jesus said, let not thy heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have said that I go to prepare? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself that where I am you may also be Todd was a young man with enormous strength of character he never took the easy way out of anything I for one can testify to that he wanted to fight his own battles and yet was willing to help those less equipped to fight theirs if the purpose of this life is to fight the good fight with strength and grace, then Todd has already fought his fight. The tragedy of his death is for those of us who are left behind. We who will never again hear him burst through our front doors with his unflagging energy and that special smile. He goes out to all his friends and his family. Especially to Annette. And Bob. And to Phoebe. Last night, while I was singing about Todd, I realised he never had a bad word to say about anyone. Ever. He always wanted to see the best in people. It seems so wrong. He's the one who had to die. It's just not fair. Why did this have to happen to one of the nicest guys I ever met? I can't believe I'll never see him again. Holy and loving Father, you gave us life when you created us. You gave us new life in Jesus Christ. We thank you for your servant, Todd Landers. 
Now we've decided not to keep the baby. I'm not so sure we're doing the right thing. I love Phoebe so much, but the idea of us having a child seems like the natural thing to do. It's true we're pretty young. I know I want to spend the rest of my life with her. The trouble is, I can't let Phoebe know how I feel. It wouldn't be fair to put all that pressure on her. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you have given us a sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. In your keeping are all those who have departed in Christ. We here commit the body of our dear brother Todd to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who died and was buried and rose again for us, and who shall change our mortal body that it shall be like his glorious body. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. by the minister. Can I speak to him, please? Forget the gun! What's this is madness! Just keep coming, Helen, I mean it. If anybody goes to follow her, she gets it, right? Don't be a fool, Bob. You're only making things worse. Can't get any worse, mate. Come on, keep moving. Let the hell go. Think I'm crazy? How far do you think I'll get without a hostage? We'll take me then. No. We'll take your car though. Unlock the car. Unlock the car. And put your keys in the ignition. Bob, will you just let her go? 